Visual Trigger gives you a quick visual way of stabilizing complex signals so you can quickly get down to making measurements. There are many types of triggers you can use, starting with simple edge triggering. In this case, the signal is stable only at the trigger point in the center of the display. But how do you quickly stabilize a relatively complex signal without resorting to a complex trigger setup? This is where Visual Trigger comes in. As an example, we'll use it on this bursty I2C clock signal. Our first step is to select the Visual Trigger Draw a Box mode. Then we draw a box to the left of the trigger point, specifying an area on the display that we want to exclude from the signal acquisitions. Then we launch the Areas Configuration menu and select Waveform Must Be Out. Now we have a signal that's stable before the trigger point, but we can see that there are still bursts of different length after the trigger point. We can define another area to exclude long bursts. We'll draw another box on the display to the right of the shortest burst. Again, we launch the Areas Configuration menu and select Waveform Must Be Out. By excluding acquisitions intersecting the second area, we have a very stable display of a short burst of this I2C clock. It would be nice to have a way to look at longer bursts too. Visual Trigger gives us the tools to select just the burst length we want to see. First, we'll set our time base to allow for the longer bursts. We can create a new area by duplicating one of the ones we already have. We'll right click on the Visual Trigger Area 2, select Duplicate, and then slide the new Visual Trigger Area 3 to the right of Area 2. To capture only double width bursts, we want to exclude acquisitions intersecting Areas 1 and 3, but also require that the signal intersect Area 2. So we'll configure Area 2 by selecting Waveform Must Be In. Now we see only those bursts that intersect Area 2 but do not intersect areas 1 or 3. The visual trigger logic equation is shown in the upper left corner of the display and can be edited in the visual trigger configuration menu. Visual trigger can be used to build more complex trigger criteria, including triggering on multiple signals. We have turned on channel 2, acquiring the I2C data signal in the lower half of the display. We'll set Visual Trigger Area 4 to exclude any Logic 0 values prior to the trigger point. By adding more Visual Trigger Areas to the data signal, we can even build a graphical serial trigger to capture a specific data pattern. This Visual Trigger setup captures a bit pattern corresponding to an I2C bus read from address 50 hex and a data value of 12 hex. By default, visual trigger areas are rectangles, but visual trigger areas can be edited to define very complex shapes. In this example, visual trigger areas are used to capture only signals with a specified pulse width and amount of ringing. Visual trigger gives you a simple way of stabilizing complex signals so you can quickly get down to making measurements and fixing problems.